Hi guys, Chef Kevin Belton here. I am so happy you're joining me today. Now, we are going to get ready not only for the holidays, but hey, you know what? There's football tomorrow. Saints are playing tomorrow. Or whoever your favorite team is tomorrow. So we're going to have an egg roll extravaganza. Okay, Monica is looking at me like I'm crazy, but she knows this. So we're going to make some egg rolls. We're going to do them different ways, okay? Here... I decided to do a southwest version. So I cut corn off the cob. I have some black beans that I just drained. Um, you can use a red bell pepper or I used an orange bell pepper because that's what I had. Also, I diced up jalapeno really fine. I you took in, the seeds out, right? I took the seeds out. Diced it up fine. Threw in a little garlic. This is a little uh, Monterey Jack cheese. And I have some chicken pieces in there that I just cooked chicken that I just diced up, okay? So this is what's in this first one. Now I also season this with a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, some magic Creole seasoning, and I put in chili powder and some cumin, all right, for that Southwest flavor. So and the ones that were left out don't have chicken in them. They're vegetarian. I was gonna get to that. Okay, sorry. Yes, dear. Didn't want you to forget. I'm sorry. I made some gang, to, just to show the versatility of this, before I put the chicken in it, I made a few with just the vegetables. And I tell you what, those are going to be just as good, all right? The other one, I decided to do a shrimp. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a little cabbage. We have some shrimp that I already cooked. A little bit of green onion. Some uh, pepper jack cheese. And, and I, I love this sauce. They call it a bang bang sauce. Basically, it's mayonnaise, sriracha, a pinch of sugar and a little rice vinegar, okay? That's all this is. So let me show you. Our egg rolls, in the store, you're gonna see egg roll wrappers, okay? Now, next to the egg roll wrappers, you might see another pack that's half this size. Those are wonton wrappers, okay? The wonton wrappers are very small. They're about, uh, cut this in half, they're about a quarter of an egg roll wrapper. So they're that big. So if you want, you could do the same thing with the wonton wrappers and make little bitty appetizers, okay? If you want to use that. Don't overfill. I have a habit of always overfilling them. And you might want to tell people those are in the produce section, typically. Yes. They're in the produce section. Don't go look for them on the aisle, but look where all the lettuce is, where they have all the fresh lettuce and the jalapeno peppers and all the cilantro and parsley. They're usually tucked right there. So let me show you how we're going to do this first one. We're gonna take a little bit of the cabbage, just spread it out. So this is the bang bang. This is the bang bang. So we're gonna take a few shrimp. You could take three or four shrimp, however much you like. But you don't want those big shrimp, right? No, you don't want something too big. And if you want, you can give your, your shrimp a little chop if you want. But I like to leave them whole, you know, you just a small shrimp. We're gonna take a little bit of our bang bang sauce. If I can open it up. I just like to get a little bit down in there like that. Now, fold it over, pull back. Now, you see this corner up top here? This is just plain water. The water will act like a glue to see you seal your egg roll. So pull it to you, turn it, turn it, and then just roll tight, roll tight, roll tight. Now, that is something I notice sometimes with the cabbage, it pokes out, okay? But that's all right. So let's make another one with the Southwest ingredients. Just put those right in. Give this a little tight pull, and right before you turn it, just wet it a little bit, fold, fold, and roll it tight, roll it tight. You know, I'm gonna try, I have another wrapper in here. That, let's try this. Let's see if we can get a little piece of cabbage where it doesn't, won't tear it. Okay, carrot, you cooperate in here. All right, guys. Okay, shrimp, 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 shrimp. In this one, I'm also gonna do a little bit of green onion. You know, what's nice is it's optional, the different things that you can put in them. All right, put in the flavors you like because that's the taste that's gonna come out of it. Come on, sauce, there we go. 
Fold it over, pull it to you tight, wet it. Oh, I didn't see that edge had folded over, but that's okay. Now, I have our oil heating up. It's important to heat up your oil. Now, the other thing is, I made some ahead of time, okay? And I want you to look. I had rolled these earlier. This is just a damp paper towel. I had them in the refrigerator with that damp towel over them. So they need to fry about just a couple of minutes on each side. I had my oil heating up. Come on. You get in. You get in. Okay, let's take this Southwestern. You can see the difference in the size. Now, you don't want to overcrowd your pan. All right. What I, what I almost did there in that overcrowding. But while this is going, let me show you what I have going up top here. Now, over here, I have a little ground meat with onions. To that, let's get in a little garlic. Uh, yes. Now, I've just browned this off, okay? We'll get in a little garlic. We'll get in a little beef stock and a couple cups of wine. We'll get that right on in. Isn't it tablespoons of wine? A couple of tablespoons of What did I say? Cups. I said cups. Which is very different. Oh, I was thinking of friends. You know those friends that like to drink a lot? A little bit of the shredded cabbage, gang. And this just has to wilt. The other thing we're going to pop in here is with about a tablespoon of sesame oil. Do you want to tell them what this is, though? Sesame oil. This no, is no, gonna, no. What you're making. It's a surprise. Okay. It's a surprise. Okay. You know how we were talking about making egg rolls, okay? This is going to be a healthy version because this way the egg roll wrapper, we're going to do an egg roll in a bowl. An egg roll wrapper in a bowl. So we got that sesame oil in. You know, we just need that little bit of moisture from that stock. We just want this cabbage to wilt a little bit. That's all we want. That's what that moisture is for. We've got that sesame oil in, which adds a wonderful flavor. While this heats up, let's go ahead and take a look and turn our egg rolls. See, they really don't take a long time to cook. And make sure you don't overcrowd your pan. Now, for you guys that have an air fryer at home, if you have an air fryer, you can spray or brush them with the oil, put them in your air fryer, and fry them, okay? If you don't have an air fryer, same thing. Brush them with the oil, put them on a rack, all right, in your pan, and then bake them in the oven. And that way they'll have that crispiness going as well. So, let me season this right quick. Now what I have here is ginger, salt, a little black pepper, a tiny bit of sugar, and some red pepper flakes. So we'll get that in to season. Oh, Monty, can you smell that sesame oil? Mm-hmm. And if you're low carb, you could leave the sugar out. Yeah, that little bit of sugar is just to just to kind of balance things off. And this is where, to your taste, a little soy sauce. The soy sauce is gonna help season. You know, and this is where you can taste it and adjust, add more soy sauce if you like. Oh, but this is it, this is good. All right, fire is out of here. Our egg rolls, let me move a little bit of this stuff over again. Bring a couple of plates over. Now, we are going to serve our egg roll. And, and hey, that's a trick. If you have a cutting board, I had a damp paper towel under here just to make sure my cutting board didn't slide around, okay? Let me get rid of this, move some of this out of the way. For our, for the Southwest egg rolls, what this is, this is ranch dressing, salt, pepper. Now, we love avocado. So basically, 
and we like it chunky. So this is just avocado. We're gonna put in some cilantro. Now, if you want, you can put this in a blender and blend it, but Monica and I like the avocado a little chunky. And of course, you can just take your spoon and mash it against the side of the bowl, okay? So it just depends. Do you want it a little chunkier? How smooth and creamy would you like it? All right. Tell you what, that looks pretty good. So here, let's take our egg rolls up. Just a sheet pan with paper towels on it. Matter of fact, while they are there, so let's just go ahead and get these other two going right quick while I finish this up. So, in our bowl, let's get a spoon. Now, if you want, if you want, you could serve this over a little rice. Um, if you don't want to serve it over rice, you could serve it over some noodles, you know, some glass noodles, if you like, or, you know, even the riced cauliflower that you find now. So here is our egg roll in a bowl. Let's finish this off with a little cilantro, a little bit of green onion, okay, for our, oh, look at this. Oh, that is so good. Doesn't that look so good? So here are our shrimp, where let's just put a little bit of just of our sauce right over it with a little sprinkle of green onion right there over the top. And for our Southwest egg rolls, let's just take a little bit of this mixture that we have right here and just put that right there. A little bit of cilantro on the top. And here's our bowl. So here, if I move all of this other way, sorry gang, I'm running out of space. And I hate to reach in front of your money, but let me turn these screws so they don't get overcooked. There we go, all right. So, whatever filling that you like, remember, get those egg roll wrappers. You can put anything in them, but make sure you use a little water to seal those edges. Okay? And tell people why you put a wet paper towel on them. I put a wet paper towel on them in the refrigerator because just the wrapper by itself, if it sits up, it'll get dry. So you can make them ahead of time, but just that damp paper towel, put them on a plate, put them in the refrigerator. Matter of fact, oh, I think that's... See, I made some extras. A friend is supposed to stop by and he says, make sure I have some to taste. Plus Monica, this is Monica's lunch. So that damp paper towel just keeps them moist to keep them from drying out, okay? So I appreciate, I hope you try this. This is really nice. And I, and I, want, I can't wait to hear from you to hear about some of the other ingredients that you tried inside of yours, all right? And I, I just thank you so much for being with me today and hanging out, cooking with me. Keep washing those hands. Keep masking up. Keep eating good. All right. For WWL TV, I'm Chef Kevin Belton, and stay safe. And we'll see you soon.